April. So today we're making some spaghetti. So I went ahead and started the process by putting a couple pieces of red bell pepper as well as some ground turkey into my Dutch pot here. My Dutch pot is well seasoned, okay? And then first, the noodles. I like to use whole grain noodles. We're trying to get away from using just as traditional noodles and do it a little bit healthier. Now, I did have my pot boiling or getting ready to boil with a little bit of water, and then I added a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. And now is the time that we're going to go ahead and season our ground turkey. So I'm using our Moon Spice paste. This is available by going to my website at EliteHairCareUSA.com on the Elite Eats section. Now, for those of you that don't know anything about Moon Spice paste, listen, read the comments, okay? Everybody who uses Moon Spice Put in the comments how well and how good Moon Spice makes your life. It changes the whole game for your plate, okay? All right, so I did use a little bit of black pepper as well as some oregano. The good thing about Moon Spice is it does not make the moon, the actual food spicy. We just call it spice because it's a spice blend. So I was able to add some red chili pepper flakes and then some ground cumin or cumin or cumin or whatever you want to call it, as long as it's, it's in the food, all right? Good. And then for a little bit more salt content, I did add a little bit of adobo. Now, the good thing with Moon Spice is it doesn't make the food salty. You are able to add additional salts if needed. Or for those of you that don't need a ton of salt, then you don't even have to add any because the Moon Spice has just enough to add that oomph to your plate. All right, so now I'm just going ahead and mixing up my ground turkey. For those of you that make spaghetti and don't season your meat before, and you're calling yourselves making spaghetti with those nasty sauces in the store that don't have any seasoning, shame on you. Run over to EliteHairCareUSA.com and grab you some Moon Spice. I promise you it's going to change the food game for you. All right, so now that my ground turkey is all cooked up, I did allow a lot of that moisture that builds up in the pan to burn down on the stove, and then I'm using some organic Bertoli spaghetti sauce. Now, you can use whatever spaghetti sauce you choose. I have been using this one for a while. I actually like the flavor of this one. Um, you can also use Rails. Rails is really good. I just didn't want to spend $10 a jar today. I want it to be a little more cost-effective. Plus, these particular ones were buy one, get one free at Publix, so I went ahead and bought one and got one free okay good all right so go ahead stir that baby up now when I was doing it I'm like okay I feel like we need more sauce like this was not enough sauce for my liking we like ours to have good sauce in it okay so I went ahead and added another bake another sauce to it and then I did also add some baking soda now baking soda is an acid neutralizer for those of you who have reflux like me so I put about a little bit of a almost a teaspoon of baking soda now the baking soda helps to neutralize a lot of the acidity from the tomatoes is it going to get rid of it 100% no now when you are using the baking soda you don't want to use too much because it can change the flavor of your actual sauce but I only use almost a teaspoon and then you stir it around and you allow this to cook through do not serve this until you see the foam is completely gone usually about five minutes of just cooking time and you're ready to go now my kids and my family we do like to add just a small amount of sweetness so I did add two tablespoons of sugar now you don't have to add sugar if you don't want to but we like that hint of sweetness that also helps to control the acidity in your actual sauce okay so you can use sugar you can also use carrots grated carrots um the carrots I really do like but sometimes with the carrots you can't control how much sweetness there is and you run the risk of it being a little too sweet okay so I did allow this to cook a little bit longer just so I could make sure that the baking soda did cook all the way through, which you'll be able to see that in just a moment. And then, of course, you want to taste your sauce to make sure that it doesn't need anything extra. So now that my sauce is all cooked, I went ahead and put my al dente whole wheat noodles into my pot. We like to mix all of ours together. You can serve yours separately. You can make it into meatballs. You do whatever you want. But this is how we like to eat our spaghetti. And I want you guys to also try out the whole wheat noodles if you have tried whole wheat noodles put a comment down in the comment box and tell us how you like those whole wheat noodles also for those of you who have tried the moon spice put a comment down below drop a comment tell people how good it is okay and what you use your moon spice for as well now once i was done mixing in our noodles um, which i always tell people when you make your noodles the moment you strain them out in the water you are to put them in the sauce so that they can absorb that sauce and it makes your spaghetti nice and moist and not dry that's the reason why i don't just like to put the sauce on top i like to mix it in together now that it was all done i went ahead and spooned it into the plate i love to eat my spaghetti nice and hot and it was mm, mm, mm. 
it's so good. Don't forget to add your grace on top, okay? Grace, grace, just, just add some grace. If you don't know what grace is, go watch my other videos and you'll understand. Grace is a hot sauce, okay? Put some hot sauce on it, add a little bit of garlic bread, sit at your table, drink some juice, enjoy your food. Bon appetit.